The Virgus Show is brought to you by Spanky Stone Hearth. Casual fine dining on beautiful Rose Lake. Virgus State Bank, your locally owned community full service bank. Virgus Event Center for gatherings large or small, including weddings. Virgus Liquor Store, where all the profits profit Virgus. Make the right call. Call Hanson's, the most trusted name in plumbing and heating. Hi, welcome to the Virgo Show. I'm Sherry Hansen. Thanks for joining me today. I'm with Alex Levenhagen. Is it? Did I say that right, Alex? You did say that. <laughs> okay, right, yeah. the panfish pirate. Um, look at here. I mean, we've got stuff out here, Alex. This is really cool, and um, you are in the heart of Lakes Country. So, yeah. Um, welcome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, I've been here eight years now. I was just going to ask and you. Eight I years. I have no intentions of leaving. No intentions. So, of, yeah, that's know. great. We, we, they've actually hooked you then, right, to this y area? Yes. <laughs> uh, I spent a lot of time in the Alexandria area in my late teens, early twenties. Okay. Kind of fell in love with you know uh, the edges of Otter Tail County, and then once I got into the heart of Otter Tail County, I didn't want to leave. Okay. Where are you so, from, Alex? Um, I grew up in Kitson County, Minnesota, Lake Bronson okay. area, and. Uh, Wait up north <laughs> way way up there yeah my grandma's got a lot of family that's canadian actually okay so, that's kind of fun would you go across the border yeah a lot? yeah to get yeah. ketchup potato chips okay you, know, <laughs> you can't get them in the states and they're delicious so <laughs> i love it yeah and then what brought you down to this area um you know uh my wife likes to think it's her but the fishing had a lot to do with it too you know um but <laughs> well you heard that here yeah, I, I mean she, it's out there now <laughs> alex there is no getting back i don't on think it. it's a secret for her okay I yeah no uh <laughs> She was teaching in Perm when we met, and uh, you know she wanted to stay in the district. And um, at the time, I was working in agriculture mostly, and kind of dabbling in the fishing. And and I decided that I wanted to make uh, the guiding and building tackle and and selling it my full time job. Awesome. So, so tell me about what we've got going here. Well, well um, first of all, I want to ask you about your logo. My logo? Yeah. Well, I made the logo on an app that I found and just kind of used some other um, art and put it together mm -hmm. digitally. But uh, the name Panfish Pirate actually came from my daughter, oh. who at the time was, um, you know, what, three? So oh, okay. She, uh, she, we were rocking out to some music, driving in the car, and uh, she, listening to a Metallica song, and she said something about how <laughs> I was like a, a rock and roll pirate because I'm always in the boat. And then she said I was like the fishing pirate, the, the pan fishing pirate, and that just kind of it it stuck for right fun. there. Yeah, yeah, you know. Because it, it, it's a great name, and, and it's very catchy. And, and at the time, we were just kind of... Um, wanting to uh, rebrand with something okay. that was all my tackle that I make. You know, I'd been selling and building other stuff and sure. and working with other companies, and I just wanted to go out on my own. And the name hit right at the right time, and it just stuck. Is she asking for royalties on it? She's <laughs> not, but sometimes we refer to her as the Panfish Princess. Oh, so, okay, you know, I love she's, that. She's spoiled enough. She doesn't need royalties. <laughs> she doesn't need royalties. No, no, not at all. So tell me about your decoys. What do we got going here? Um, so these are decoys that were uh, donated last year for um, a, a decoy contest and uh, the winner here in the middle was actually uh, made by a young fellow who's still in college and uh, what we're gonna do with them at this year's Froze Fest which we haven't talked about no, yet but we will but um, <laughs> Uh, at this year's Froze Fest, we're going to use these as raffle prizes to raise money for the event and for our kids' fishing stuff that we're doing with the event. Awesome. So, Froze Fest. Froze Fest 2024. The yeah. Virgus Community Club got on board, and this is what I'll say about it. Alex came to our meeting, and, and I'm saying this so that hopefully other people will follow in this example, but you came to our meeting with this what great idea, and not only did you have the idea you have just owned it. You, yeah. you, you just as like, Sherry, this is what we're doing and this is when it's at. And so yeah. um, I love that. Well, you know, I had the idea from years of a kind of being involved with ice fishing tournaments and winter recreation. You know, at one point we owned a bunch of sled dogs and, sure. and we did, we've done a lot of things with winter recreation and, and these small towns, especially the winters kind of get long and quiet mm -hmm. and it's hard for businesses. And, uh, you know, my business kind of thrives, especially at the beginning of winter when people are, you know, wanting to get out there and they're anxious to go it. ice fishing and stuff that helps me. Um, so kind of midwinter, I'm like, you know, we got to do something, got to come up with I something. And uh, so I started to put together a tournament and uh, you know, we added a little vendor show to it and then we added a pike spearing tournament, you know, and- And, and this I'd, all happened last year, This right? all happened last year. I just mm -hmm. kind of did it on my own. 
um, you know, I asked a few businesses around to, you know, to, mm -hmm. hey, do you want to advertise? So the Mercantile gave some popcorn because they've got yeah. that awesome popcorn up there. And <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> and you know, to get people to go uh, go up there and buy some, yeah. you know, later. And so, uh, what really happened is we we had a lot of fun. Had a lot of and fun. we're like, well, we got to do this again, and we'd like to grow the event, and you know, involve more community businesses and right. more members of the community, families and such. So, that's great. So it's it's on January twenty seventh. So it's coming up very quick. Yes, so it you're going to want to take part in it. But give me a rundown, Alex, of what's going to happen that day. So uh, all our events this year are going to take place on Saturday, the twenty seventh of January. That Saturday, the twenty seventh, and we're going to have an angling tournament which is a uh, pick your lake you can fish any lake you want to okay. if you want to fish an hour away from Vergus you can but all the fish have to be weighed in here at the event center here at the event center okay. at the ice show and um, you know that we want them as fresh as possible we don't want damaged fish frozen fish there we're not going to weigh those no. that's going to kind of keep some of the integrity there as far as the mm -hmm. contest goes um, but we want you know the families to take their ice castles out with the kids and sure. go enjoy their day fishing their spot that they like mm -hmm. and um, you know bring their catch back here and weigh them we're gonna have door prizes we're gonna have these raffle prizes um, you know the you talked about a bucket thing for the kids what's that yeah so that's kind of a separate deal Okay. Um, there's a, uh, it's called Feed the Fish. Um, they have a website called feedthefish4.com that people can check out. And we've been doing these bucket giveaways and uh, every winter and traditionally we've had it over on Big Pine Lake by mm -hmm. Purim. And this year we decided to make it in conjunction with our Froze Fest event to try to get, you know, more people involved. And what they'll be doing is there'll be a hundred buckets with rods, reels, tackle, um, some other goodies in them and they're completely 100% free to the first 100 kids that show up to get them. Nice, and, and that's here at the event center? No, no, that will be on Long Lake off the public access. Oh, and they okay. actually, what, they're gonna, what they do is they, we pre-drill holes, um, they have some hot chocolate out there and stuff, and for three hours from noon to 3 p.m., the kids can go out there and fish. Um, there'll be people around helping them, you know, with the holes. Usually they make like a little ice rink and they have yeah. uh, some broom ball going sure. and just a lot of fun. So at the Long Lake Access from 1 to 3 is when you have the 100 buckets that you're giving away. From noon to 3. From noon to 3, excuse yep. me. Okay, so what, what is the timing um, as far as um, them bringing their fish in to be weighed? Um, all fish for the angling contest, it starts at 8 a.m. Um, okay. And you have to be here in the event center by three. If you weigh after three because we get piled up, um, that's fine. We'll be also having the pike spearing contest oh, at the okay. same time. So same deal there, you know, fish have to be fresh. Uh, we had the pike spearing contest last year and we had um, a fish that was over 41 inches, I believe. Really? Um, was our big fish, so really cool. I think it's really exciting that um, families can go to whatever lake they feel comfortable in and then, and then come back here. And then what's all going to be happening here at the event center? So I we're going to have, um, you know, uh, about 10 vendors or so right mm -hmm. now. Um, you know, we're we're looking to add maybe uh, one or two more for for geared towards more of the the ladies side oh, of things. Okay. Maybe <laughs> um, we have some decoy makers, we have tackle builders. I'll have a booth with a lot of my stuff. Um, we have a gal coming that makes a lot of crafts that are kind of like um, lake oriented signs, sure. t-shirts she makes. Um, uh, my sister actually runs a little business where she makes uh, dog collars and harnesses that are all custom made with nice. different patterns. And, nice. And, and so then there'll be concessions here? Yeah, um, Ditterich Mercantile is going to be running the concessions and we're okay. going to have uh, the uh, more pork brats mm -hmm. and cowboy beans starting at 11. But there will be like coffee and cookies, I think, right away in the morning. All too. the way. Yeah. So. so, so someone will be here from 8 a.m. till 3 p.m. helping you get weighed in. I'm kind of just we got to wrap this up. We've got yep. a lot of information. Yep. And um, if you want to take your kids out to get the buckets, that's at Long Lake Access, that's and right. that's from noon to three. From noon to three. And then those people should come back in, and yep. then because uh, you Absolutely. can get you some food, you can sh check out some vendors. How late in the day will you be staying here? Um, we'll do awards around 3:30. As soon as I have everybody weighed and. I can and run the sheet out. We'll do the awards with the payouts and the door and prizes. Then, and these lures here, and those we'll will be And we'll do the raffle, raffle drawings, and we hope to have that all done a little bit after 4 o'clock. 
Oh, so awesome. they'll still have time to get a burger at Billy's. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this is great, Alex. I just, I mean, I really love the I, uh, the whole concept. I mean, winters get long, yeah. and um, just um, getting families out on the lake, and uh, you know, and these they, they can um, get on the raffle thing. What are the prizes for the angling and the and the spearing? Um, so it's a hundred percent payout every okay. every entrance. It's it's ten bucks to get in the angling, twenty to get in the spearing. Okay. And we just break it down by the number of members I, uh, or a number of sign up. Sure. I think last year I paid 10 places. Nice. Um, and uh, of course, we gave away prizes, you know, even below that. We had 52 entrants, I believe, in our Pike Screen contest oh, last this year. This is so. great. So, Saturday, January 27th, you're going to want to be in Burgess. You're going to want to be out at the Long Lake Access from noon to 3. You're going to want to come here <laughs> yeah. to the event center anywhere between 8 and 4. Yep. There's going to be food. Um, if you want to check out Alex's website, I'm sure you've got that here with the Panfish Pirate. Is Absolutely. that correct? Absolutely. Panfishpirate.com. Yeah. And um, there's going to be raffle opportunities. And I think you, like, you're just keep adding some things too, just to make it more fun. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just gonna the vendor show is gonna be fun. Well, they'll take vendors and yeah, yeah. Uh, I think uh, the big thing is is that people come this year, enjoy it, um, and help us grow it. And you know, you you come this year and you have some fun. Next year we're gonna do it even bigger and yeah, even better. The more people we plan. can get. So. He had a great idea: snowman building contest. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. um, all these different fun things that can happen yeah. next year the too. The sky's so. the limit. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you, Alex, for joining me today. Thanks for telling about this. But thanks mostly for just planning an event yeah. for Vergus because and anything to bring people to town, yeah. right? And if people need more information on it, they can check it out on uh, Facebook on the Panfish Pirate page. I've got it posted up, and okay. and the community club will be sharing some stuff too. So if you go to the Vergus Community Club page, they should have some flyers on there so you can get more details. Awesome. All right. Yeah. Thanks so much, Alex. You bet. Thank you, you have a good day in Vergus. We'll see you at fishing. <laughs>